Almost time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live. Today is October 5th. Everyone's favorite day to trade zero DTE Thursday. We've had quite a little reversal today. Market opened slightly lower and fell out of bed and has rebounded all the way back to where we opened. Almost feels like a short squeeze day today, but it's not. We are right back where we opened. However, I am going to do something a little bit different today. Since I have not put out my October plan yet, I've, you know, I've got the leeway. I can, I can kind of do, I'm in limbo. I can do what I want right now. Uh, but what I'm going to do, and, th and in fact, this is, um, I'm looking at it to be part of my October plan. But on tranche one, I'm going to start doing a three to two ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and implement that today. Here's uh yes, can I know very bold, very bold. Here's the, uh, here's my three, two test. If you're interested in checking it out. Um, all right. So let's see, I need 10 calls. I've got 10 calls. I need 15 puts. I've got, I've got all the longs I need. So I'll just be going in with the shorts. Looks like five wide, most likely. Maybe 10. Let's see where we settle out here in the next couple minutes. What I've the I haven't done all the testing I want to on it yet, but it looks like tranche one does better with a uh, three to two. Lower drawdowns, higher win percentage, higher mar, higher CAGR, higher PL, but it's not. That's not the case on tranche two and three. A little smoother ride. We're either on the sixty fives or seventies on the uh, on the call side. Like it might end up being the 70s if we keep pushing up here. Yeah, it goes from seven to down to three on that stop loss. One more minute here. It looks like it might be the 70s, 60s. Forty-two seventy, forty-two sixty. Trying to get filled. I said trying to get filled. If 
filled at 1720. 4270 calls and 4260 puts. All right, in for tranche number one. So earlier today, I got smoked out of my JSPs, got smoked out of my duck. Those both hurt. Uh, hit a profit target on DKS, excuse me, FKS. Uh, then stopped out on the second portion. Um, AM ratio uh, hit first profit target, got stopped out for a profit on the remainder. And what else? I've been long some futures, so that's helped. But uh, that's all. Uh, that's all in zero DTE land. No quiet lunches or PM iron condors. Uh, win rate on the, on since we changed it over to FKS is uh, 100%, two for two. PT, that would be the Fibonacci King special. Used to be the DKS. Yes. I'm required to refer to Dick K as the Fibonacci King from now on, so I had to change change the name. Yes, uh, scroll up, Kelvin. You'll see the test I posted. It's something I think I'm going to transition to for tranche one for October. I haven't finalized that yet, but so I decided to go ahead and jump in it today. Tranche two and three, I'll still be doing one to one, my normal. Let's see what else we got. So we put on a uh, time fly this morning, and that has pushed up ever since. But we're still in range. Maybe up a little bit, pretty close to break even, probably. The uh, VIX is now down 1%. So volatility coming in a little bit on our VXX spreads. Helping out our ducks, helping out our short strangles. Oil is still down almost 2% after a big down day yesterday. Hey, Naked Strangler, uh, do me a favor. All the chat is in the uh, Zero Live chat channel in Discord. I usually turn the Zoom chat off, with her, but I forgot to. But to answer your question, what is the stop loss on the 3-2 ratio is... Uh, I'm using a $7 stop loss. And then once I get to 40%, I'll kick that down to three. I also, in the uh, Zero Live chat, I also posted the uh, Option Omega link to that.
Same one that's been in my trade plan for the last few months, Kelvin. Yeah, they uh, they came. I didn't I didn't get to attend the uh, the the session today because I I wasn't able to. But um, yeah, they came to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of that, and I was I was thrilled. So I think it could be a cool little library of stuff. So tomorrow it's starting at a seven dollar stop loss, and then um, at forty percent, dropping it down to three. That's what I found tested the best. Still got some more to do, but initially, anyway. Yeah, so it's seven seven bucks on the on the three to two. So it's you know that's uh, five lots. I did a ten by five, so that would be considered a five lot. And so it's seven hundred dollars of risk times five. So it's actually a little bit less risk than my original one to one, where I was doing ten ten one ten one to one. So let's see here. I got in at 1720. So at 1030, price gets down to $10 and 30 cents. I will reduce my stop. Yeah, still fixed. Yeah, on a percentage basis, correct. Yeah, it would be reduced. Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't see any value in keeping it similar on a percentage basis. The testing that I did so far anyway. Yeah, I started out kind of with that with that thought in mind, Mara. I was like, okay, I got about a 50% give or take stop loss on the one to one. Let's kind of so I started there and I just kept working it down. I was like, eh, actually, actually does better. Well, I mean, I'm using intermittent stop losses on on the back test, so. Should be fairly accurate from that perspective. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I did not adjust the uh, slippage, so. 
that is that is correct here. So let's see. I don't remember what I was using for slippage on my other ratios, but <clears throat> what are you guys using for slippage on a 3-2 on the back test? Stop loss slippage. I'll just put two. Two dollar. See how that changes it. So 64.7% win rate, 28.6 mar. Two. Well, it definitely drops the mar and increases the max drawdown. Win percentage about the same. About seven minutes till tranche two. S&P down one, NASDAQ down 34, Russell down, or Russell up two, Dow ups 18. All hovering around unchanged. All right, things kind of settled down after that last couple big up bars. It's like we just needed to go down and flush out some bears before ripping higher. On today's price action on the daily. My guess is we had to go down and touch a couple of uh, Fibonacci levels before bouncing.
All right, so tranche one's down to 14 bucks, 14.30. So I still need another $4 to come out of it. A few minutes till tranche two. I'm going to do my normal one to one for tranche two and three. Tranche three looks like 65s and 60. No, 65s and 55s. A little pullback here in SPX. Could be the sixty fifty fives. See where this shit thing shakes out in the next minute or so. We bounce up a little bit. We'll get the sixty five fifty fives. All right, 65, 55s, trying to get 515. Filled at 515. And now it looks like the 60, 55s. I enter at 114, so it was right there when I got in. You may do the 6055s too. It's a tweener, tweener on the call side. Stay above 60 for our tranche one. Tranche two. 
Got in at 515. So I'll reduce stop at 310. SP back in the red. Yeah, that, uh, that portfolio margin is some good stuff. I hope Schwab doesn't mess it up for us toss users. They probably will. I may be coming over to your side on IB tomorrow. All right, getting a little bounce here back to 4260. I thought Tasty was like 175,000. Wow, they're really stepping up their support, Morrow. Welcome to 2023. Uh, the old escalation that always, that always works. <laughs> Let me escalate that to my supervisor. You'll escalate it to the supervisor. That's, that's just a nice way of saying GFW, GFY. And they laugh after they get off the phone. <laughs> I just told them we escalated it. <laughs> yeah, it's a competition between cubicles. I got seven escalations today. I think that's on ES, right, Dick, not SPX? So about seven or eight points higher. 
take a I don't want that quite much. Maybe I'll just take four points higher. A few minutes until tranche three. Tranche one trading at 16, tranche two trading at 450. Looks like we could be 15 wide maybe for tranche three. So this price holds. Maybe 10 wide. Sixty five fifties, maybe give it another minute. Price coming down, so it might be the 60-50s. I'm going to go 60 50s. Well, hang on, hang on. All right, 65, 65 50s. Sixty five fifties. Gonna get filled at two sixty five. Filled at two sixty five. Oh man, the fifties dropped. Should have been the sixty five fifty fives. Oh well, I'm in. That was low, low premium. As I was saying it out loud and hitting confirm and send, I was like, man, that seems low filled. 
but I am 15 wide. Tranche one trading at 14.30. Need a little bounce above 60 to have a chance at lowering that stop. Tranche two, I'm looking for 3.10. It's currently trading at Back at forty two sixty. Tranche one and two are in a race to see who can get it stop lowered first. Sixty is dead center for tranche two. Sixty five is dead center for tranche one. So if we stay right here, tranche two should win. If we bounce, tranche one may get there quicker. Tranche two starts at three, gets lowered to two. Runs one down to eleven twenty. Need another buck. Ten seventy five, ten sixty five. Ten thirty five. Ten twenty. All right, moving my stop to thirteen thirty on tranche one. Tranche two is there as well. So moving that to 510. Oops, wrong one. Never mind. I was looking at tranche three. <laughs> that was close.
Tranche two is trading at 340. I need Still bounce around 340, 350. Need price to just kind of stay where it is for a couple minutes. Come down a little bit. Three thirty five, three thirty, three twenty five. Three twenty, three ten. All right, moving my stop on tranche two. Yeah, that $3 stop on a ratio seems pretty small, but that's what, uh, that's what I found so far that tests the best. So we'll roll with it. Tranche one, I did a three, two today, MRP. I posted the, uh, the back test link. If you scroll up in this channel. All right, 25 minutes until the bell. Between 60 and 65 is my sweet spot. Oh, oh my gosh. What did I do? No, oh, yeah, three, two. Okay, you had me. 
second guessing myself, MRP. Yeah, three to two. 15 to 10. Tranche one down to 970, tranche three down to 210, tranche two down to 280. So Dick K, hey, your uh, your JSP's held on through that flush, huh? I think I got stopped out on that last little leg down. I uh, gotcha. Tranche twos down to a buck eighty. Tranche, excuse me, tranche two down to a two sixty. Tranche three down to a buck eighty. Tranche one down to ten dollars.
Market imbalance, yeah, 208 million. So there's nothing. Tomorrow's news. What do we have again tomorrow? Let's see. Tomorrow is Friday. So yeah, we got employment stuff pre-market. I've got one FOMC speaker, Waller. In a moderated discussion about the payments system. Hosted by the Brookings Institute in Washington, D.C. Payment systems. Yeah, your, your uh, guess is as good as mine. I always feel like I need to do something on Thursday afternoons, but it's just not a good day to put on calendars. I'll take a 4265. Getting a little pop here. Of course, the accountant comes in with a decimal, 2.5%. 
two decimal places. All right, simmer, simmer in right here. Tranche one down to six bucks. AM ratio work got hit first profit target stopped uh, for profit on the second half. Oh, yeah. So far, so good. Oh, that's a little whippy candle. Tranche three down to a buck forty. Tranche two under two bucks. Tranche one under seven. Ten and a half minutes until the bell. Got the sixty five fifty fives on tranche two. Got the seventy sixties on tranche one and the sixty five fifties on tranche three. And the final market on close imbalance is early indications were 208 million on the buy side. Should be showing up any oh, 302, 320 million buy side. So not, uh, not, a, not a lot. A 
will drop below 4260. Charge three down to 80 cents. Touch three down to a buck fifteen. I mean, do I do, do I take it all to the bell and go Elliot style here? Or do I take some chips off the table? I'm definitely taking tranche three to the bell. Tranche one is right on my lower strike. Tranche two is right in the middle. No, I don't I don't reduce my stop on tranche three. I reduced my limit order down to 10 cents. So I'm going to take that one to the bell. A little drop. Give me a little bounce into the close. Oh no. Tranche one is now at eleven fifty, stops at thirteen thirty. Heart rate's at eighty eight.
Yeah, still getting a little down move. Too much more in tranche one may get stopped. What a three point bounce into the close. Two more, two more up. Heart rate ninety two. Ninety seven. Okay, okay. Yeah, just, just sneak right above 4260 for me. Just a little above 4260. There you go. Little little more just to just for comfort. Ooh, heart rate 105. This is <laughs> this is getting to me. With all three tranches, it's a little different, I guess, on the old heart. I'm back down to 90. That bar stays green, my heart rate calms down. One and a half minutes. It's like five minutes underwater. Just a little oof into the clothes, a little uh. Tranche three got filled at 10 cents. I have mine sitting at 10 cents. Oh, I got filled at 10 cents also. I'm surprised somebody wanted to buy that at 10 cents <laughs> a minute to go. A little bounce, 30 second bounce. A little 30 second, two point bounce. Now you're going the wrong way now. Ten seconds. Get up there. Get up. Oh, 10 cents on two. All right. So still made uh, 50, almost 6,000 on tranche one and pins on the other, basically minus 10 cents. Nice. Very nice. If it would have, if it would have gotten above 4260, that would have been over 20 K would it, which would have been my biggest power hour, but not quite, but I'll take it. Pretty close. Not bad for a Thursday. That is, that's true. All right, my friends, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Tomorrow is Friday the 6th. So Chad will be streaming in the morning at the open. And then I will be back to do it again for Power Hour. All right, all, take care. Have a good night.